How's it going everyone? Welcome to Double Pebble. So this is the review that I was supposed to release last week before I lost my voice. So I'm gonna release it today. A lot of people have requested me to review CC Gareth Bale. I think the reason is because a lot of new season came out like LP, DP. So the previous season that was available was EC and everyone was excited about the new Gareth Bale. So we're gonna take a look at him today and see if he is worth your money okay so gareth bale is 18374kg he is more of a physically big kind of winger something like cristiano ronaldo and he is also skinny built he's got good strength i would say 84 which is not that bad good stamina as well he is famous for his pace 95 95 so this is his major selling point jump is 77 not fantastic He's not known for his aerial ability. His agility is his single biggest weakness, which I've highlighted in the EC version. So 81 for this CC version. Balance is also quite low. I'm a bit worried about that. His dribbling and ball control at least are quite good. 88, 87, which means that he should have no problem controlling true balls without losing pace and also to dribble his way around defenders but his agility might be the big problem here crossing is also not that good 83 short passing is 86 okay his short power is at least good we do know that his long shots are op so 90 for long shot 87 for short power heading is actually not that bad for someone like him 83 which is better than most wingers his positioning is also not fantastic 84 Reaction is also not very fast, 84, and of course aggression quite low. Now we look at his stars, he's at least got 10 of them. Goal master, target man, wing player is important, area control, so at least he's a area threat. Dribble master, tanker, okay, crosser, sniper is important, acrobatic free kick master. His work rate is not bad as well, high mid, which is considered a better work rate as compared to like mid low or mid mid in terms of traits he's got three of them two of them being not that useful diver avoid using weak foot and sniper which is important now price average 377 currently 574 million i think that is quite high for a winger to be honest a non-world best non-world legend winger but we have to see we have to see when we go into the in-game analysis and see if he is worth 574 million right so first thing very obvious we talk about his pace he's extremely fast in a straight line sprint okay now i say straight line sprint because his agility will mean that if you try running with him in a zigzag or try to twist and turn with him you are going to be in trouble so if it's a straight line he's one of the fastest available player now dribbling and ball control is also very high this is important like I said many times, you want your winger to trap the ball without losing speed and get away from the defender and with his high ball control, at least he's able to do that. His high dribbling also kind of mitigate his low agility which means that he is still able to dribble past some defenders. Next thing we talk about his balance, although his balance stats is only 80 right, surprisingly in game, he stays on his feet very well, he doesn't fall over easily and I think that is partly attributed by his skinny build so you guys should know by now skinny body players are able to stay on their feet much better as compared to average or bulky last thing is he is more of a modern goal scoring inside forward as compared to a traditional out and out winger so he likes to cut in much more as compared to normal so he cuts in a little bit too much for my liking but he also chip in with goals pretty regularly so he's more of a goal scoring kind of player now weakness we've got two big weakness to talk about and the first one is of course his agility this is the same problem as the ec version it is a big big problem against strong opponents because these opponents are not gonna give you a lot of space and without space it is hard for him to sprint in a straight line so he has to twist and turn to create space and that is the problem okay when he twists and turn it's not as sharp it's not as fluid and it is easy to read his motion good defenders will be able to tackle him easily next thing is his aerial ability you know there are players with low heading stats like robin that can win you headers and then there are players with good heading stats like bale 83 heading but can't win a header to save his life so bale has this problem so in the event that sometimes your winger swap position with the striker if a cross come in don't expect bale to win you many headers that is one of the big problem 
Now, overall, I would rate him a 6 out of 10. I don't really like using Bale as a winger strictly because of his low agility, which is a big problem. Against not so good opponent, it wasn't such a big problem. You, know? you can use passing to create the space required for him to sprint in a straight line, but against the strong ones, it's not easy to create space and with his handicap of low agility, really hurts him a lot. Plus, he does not have good area ability, which is a good bonus to have for a winger because Sometimes they change position like I said. You want your wingers to be able to win some headers. So overall, is he worth 575 million? No, lah, definitely not. Okay, His biggest weakness is really too big. A deal breaker basically. You should not use Bill for winger. Especially when you have so many other good options. Players with so high agility. Agility is so important for wingers. So without agility... He is simply a liability and I tried putting him as a center forward or a striker and it is problematic for me as well because he cannot win high ball so I would think the only reason you want to use Bale at least as a center forward is if you like to high through a lot so if you like to high through a lot you should use Gareth Bale and basically for the whole game just keep lobbing to him and hope that he outpaces the opponent alright and that is all I have for this review video I hope you guys enjoy and find it helpful as usual don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like my FIFA content and do hit the subscribe button if you have not done so. Check out our Facebook fan page as well, the link is in the description box and I'll see you next time.